South Korea has rolled out the first prototype of its next-generation indigenous fighter, previously referred to as the KFX, and officially named it the KF-21 Boromi, meaning hawk in Korean. The jet, South Korea's most ambitious yet, is expected to fly next year and the country's president has confirmed an ambitious schedule to complete the development program for the initial version of the aircraft by 2026. Full-scale development work on what was then known as the KFX began in 2015 and in 2019 South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration DAPA, which manages defense procurement, announced the go-ahead for the construction of a prototype. Last September, Kai announced that the final assembly of the prototype fighter was underway, mating the fuselage sections and wings. The Republic of Korea Air Force ROCAF is expected to induct 40 KF-21s by 2028 and have the full fleet of 120 aircraft deployed by 2032. The aircraft are urgently required to replace aging F-4E Phantom II and F-5EF Tiger II fighters and are intended to complement F-35 A Stealth Fighters 60 of which are being procured from the United States as well as older F-15K Slam Eagle and F-16CD aircraft. The rollout ceremony took place today at the Korean Aerospace Industries Kai facilities in Sakin. South Jiyang Province, and saw an address by President Moon Jae-in. He heralded a new era of self-defense, and a historic milestone in the development of South Korea's aviation industry. Moon also set a goal for South Korea to become the world's seventh biggest aviation industrial power by the 2030s. Full-scale development work on what was then known as the KFX began in 2015 and in 2019 South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration DAPA, which manages defense procurement, announced the go-ahead for the construction of a prototype. Last September, Kai announced that the final assembly of the prototype fighter was underway, mating the fuselage sections and wings. There are plans for four single-seat and two twin-seat prototypes, each of which will be powered by a pair of US-supplied General Electric F414 GE 400K engines. The manufacturer was selected in 2016 to supply 240 F414 production engines plus spares program. Variants of this turbofan are also found in the FA18 EF Super Hornet and DA18G Growler and Sweden's James 39 EF Gripen, and are also planned to power the Indian Tejas MK2. Seoul expects to issue its first KF-21 production contract in 2024, leading to deliveries of the Block 1 variant in 2026. Block 1 will offer air-to-air -air capability only, while Block 2 will be cleared for air-to-ground missions. While developing and producing an indigenous multi-role fighter is a significant challenge, Kai has amassed plenty of experience in producing high-end military aircraft, including the supersonic F-A-50 light combat aircraft used by the ROCAF and exported. Korean industry was also involved in a local production of the Block 52 F-16C day multi-role fighter for the ROCAF. The KF-21 does exhibit some low observable features, adopting the canted twin tails, fuselage shaping, and dead alignment, among other features, established by the F-22 and F-35. However, it does not provide the kind of all-aspect stealth offered by these US fighters. Instead, the twin-engine jet is intended to fill the gap between the F-35 and the F-16, in terms of capabilities, but should be cheaper overall than the F-35, the sustainment cost of which is a cause for concern in the United States and elsewhere. The KF-21's weapons will be carried externally, on six underwing and four under-fuselage hardpoints. Once the jet is in service around 2026 work is expected to commence on a more advanced derivative, featuring internal weapons carriage, for example. In its initial form, the KF-21 is expected to have a radar cross-section equivalent to the Eurofighter Typhoon, but successive upgrades should reduce this much further. Even the fighter flying into combat without weapons in its most survivable state could be an important sensor node for other fighter aircraft of lesser capabilities. 
Under a project worth a total of $7.9 billion, South Korea is developing the KF-21 together with Indonesia, which agreed to pay 20% of development costs and plans to acquire 50 examples for its own air force. In the past, Indonesia was behind on payments for the program and there were suggestions that its status in the program could be under threat. However, Indonesia's Minister of Defense Prabowo Subianto attended today's rollout ceremony and Korean officials confirmed that the cooperation plans remained in place. The plan is to make the aircraft available for export to other countries, too. All in all, the KF-21 could be a very attractive proposition for foreign customers. The aircraft has been designed to have better kinematic performance than an F-16C and will feature an active electronically scanned array a -ESA, radar, produced by South Korea's Handwa Systems, as well as advanced weapons options, including the ramjet-powered meteor air-to-air -air missile provided by Europe's MBDA. Flight tests of a demonstrator radar have already begun using a Boeing 737 testbed. Weapons have already been selected for the Block 2 version of the KF-21. These comprise the GBU-12 Paveway 2, GBU-3138 Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM, GBU-5456 Laserdam, GBU-39-B Small Diameter Bomb I, and the CBU-105 Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser, WCMD. All these stores are currently in rogue CAF service which should accelerate the integration process. The new fighter jet is expected to carry a payload of up to 16,975 pounds, a maximum takeoff weight of 56,400 pounds. It is expected to achieve a top speed of around 1,400 miles per hour approximately Mach 1.83 and have a range of 1,800 miles. Of course, these are brochure numbers, so we will have to wait and see how it plays out in reality once the aircraft is flight tested. Its range, in particular, would be far less during actual combat operations. While there are a number of other, similar advanced fighter projects with stealthy ambitions are underway, including in Europe, India, Japan, Turkey, and the United Kingdom, the Borami will be the first to fly. Kai may have traded some advanced capabilities for a more rapid development path for its fighter design, but that could pay off in the long run if the KF-21 secures export orders. The KF-21 should play a major role in furthering South Korea's indigenous defense capabilities. In all, 65% of components are being made in South Korea. Importantly, Kai is developing critical avionics including the mission and flight control computers. Korean industry is also responsible for the ASA radar, electronic warfare equipment, infrared search and track sensor, and electro-optical targeting pod. Mass production of the KF-21 will also create 10,000 new jobs, according to President Moon. This is in addition to 12,000 jobs involved in the project between 2016 and 2020.